Hello everybody. Uh, tonight I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, worrying and how uh, useless it really is. Um, I would, I'll give you a little bit of history. You know, a while a while back I was diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder, and I was uh, I was put on a bunch of medications for it. And I don't know. Um, maybe at the time that was necessary, or maybe it wasn't. You know, I sometimes wondering if it was. Maybe me just looking for an easy way out. You know, you get a, a mental health diagnosis and then it means I don't really have to do much because I'm not well. You know, so people can expect a whole lot, a whole lot from me. Um, you know, I was on a lot of medication. I think I was on too much medication and, um, eventually, you know, I made that decision to go off of the medication and that was, extremely hard to do, you know, like very, very hard to do, but eventually I got off and, you know, if you're on medication and you're, you're thinking about going off it, uh, the one thing I really do want to urge you to do is to, uh, uh, just don't go off to cold turkey and uh, talk with your doctor about it because it's going to be very dangerous to go off. When I went off of mine, I felt like I was about to seizure or, or slept the first time, so, you know, I went back on it and then, I talked to my doctor and slowly uh, went off it over over time and it you know even by tapering off it wasn't like it felt like it was you know real easy to do but uh, uh, but I did get off it any anyways and um, you know like this weekend I was I went on a ski trip and and um, yeah I was worrying a lot you know the whole week it just seemed like a kind of a busy we got planning vacation. I was doing training at work. Um, you know, I, I think what happened was I, I tried to do too much and overextended myself. And, you know, that leads to worry. And, but, you know, just looking back on it, I just look at like how unhealthy and how unnecessary it was because like worrying about everything wasn't going to do anything about it. And, uh, luckily, you know, on the second day of the ski trip, I was able to, to just calm down and enjoy the skiing and I had a great uh sleep that second night out on the hostel and it was a it was an excellent excellent trip. And uh so today I go back to work and I was really quite proud of myself because I didn't worry. You know, I needed to get in touch with somebody and plan what we were gonna do and stuff and you know I couldn't get in touch with them and stuff and I just kinda of said, Oh, well, you know though show up and they can show up and and they did and you know it ended up working out all right i think you know tomorrow we'll go do what we need to do and and it'll work itself out you know but had i sat there and worried all day about it i don't think it would have done anything if anything it would have been worse because then i just focused on what i could do and that was preparing for the presentation and so i got it all prepared and I think we're about as prepared as we're going to be, and and so that was good. So, you know, like anything, it's always important to live in the solution. Don't live in the problem. Uh, living in the problem gets me gets me absolutely nowhere. And living in the solution, you know, like what can I do about it? That's the, the best way to to be, and it feels a lot better, and it feels a lot more uh, a lot more positive and, and stuff. And, you know, like anxiety isn't a bad thing. It gets a bad rep. But, uh, you know, I, I talked with a therapist one time and, and she said, talked about confusing anxiety with excitement because they are both very similar, you know, your heart rate beats faster for both of them and everything. And so I think a lot of times when I was younger, I was mixing them up, I was mixing up the anxiety for excitement. And some of these situations where I thought I was anxious, like I, I wasn't, I was just excited. And that's not a, a bad thing. The main thing I can tell the difference between you know, some, when I'm anxious or when I'm excited about something, it's anxiousness, I'll feel it up here. Uh, sorry, anxiousness, I'll feel it down here in my stomach uh, type of thing, like especially my lower stomach. And excitement, I'll feel more uh, more up in here. So I think it's really important for a person to know their body. Like, uh, we feel feelings and they, they show up in certain parts of their body. Like, we've all felt love before, I think. And... Like, have you ever felt love in your fist? Like, no, you don't, you don't feel it there. You feel it more in your heart and other places. Or you don't feel love in your foot. I don't feel anxiety in my, 
in my foot at all. So yeah, it's really important, I think, for me to get to know my, to know my body and anxiety. Uh, you know, I can't totally get rid of the anxiety. A certain amount of anxiety is good. It's healthy. It'll keep me from, from, uh, it'll keep me performing. You know, a little bit of anxiety will help me do what needs to be done. Like when I was in university, it'll help me to prepare for my tests or, do my projects and not leave everything to the last moment and get it done. The only time anxiety is a problem is when it's starting to affect my life and keeping me from getting things done that I need to, that I need to do. So this whole thing, you know, about anxiety being useless and stuff, it's, it's not. And when I'm feeling anxious, now what I like to do is take a, a step back and look at, okay, so, so what's not going right in my life? Like, what do I need to change? Uh, which of my needs aren't uh, being met? And a lot of times, you know, I find with anxiety, it's I'm overextending myself. I'm biting off too much, trying to do uh, too much. Why am I trying to do too much? Probably because I'm feeling insecure about myself. I don't love myself. So, you know, at work, uh, yeah, I'll do this extra work. And then, you know, that'll make me feel good about myself. I'll get compliments from the people at work. I'll get compliments from the boss and uh, and everything. But, you know, really, it's, yeah, it's just a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> you know, uh, it's just me feeling insecure and worrying and not loving myself. And, and you know, the only place I'm going to get that is to love me, you know. If I don't love me, you know, all the people in the world can tell me that they love me, but I ain't going to believe it. So, you know, how do you cure anxiety? Love. You know, just love yourself. Um, we all have what we need inside of us and to stop searching outside of it side of ourselves for that, you know? You know, the other thing on this feature, if I'm starting to feel like, oh man, I haven't gotten all this stuff done, and and also worrying about that, uh, you know, that I won't get to do any backcountry trips this year. And whereas last year, I would have been so happy with the amount of skiing I've gotten in this year. So, you know, I think a big part of it is just being content with what we have sometimes as well. And, you know, as a result of that, when I was content with it, I could enjoy it a lot more and then got the opportunity I think, to be able to hook up and get to do a backcountry trip. So, so yeah, so that's just a little bit about anxiety and worry. Useless. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> you know, easier said than done, but you know, if you need help, just get some help. And, you know, if you're on medication, maybe that's what you need. Maybe it's not. You know, maybe it's helping you for the time being, but, uh, don't necessarily believe those doctors or therapists when they say, and you need to be on it for the rest of your life because that's what they told me and that's just uh, simply not true. So, yeah, you have the answers inside. Do what feels right for you and don't let other people tell you what you need to do. All right? So, yeah, cool. Great to talk to you guys again and hope everybody's having an awesome week. I'll see you later. Peace out, man.